cycle. In particular, the speech recognition part. Uh, so for the technophiles among you, um, the raw speech comes in, we have a signal processing front end, and we turn it uh, to analyze the acoustics of speech, the sound of speech, using something called acoustic models. And then we use something called the um, language models to help understand what you mean. Right. So um, then it becomes word sequence. So such an engine all has to be trained beforehand, but it no longer needs to be trained by you, the consumer. I don't know how many of you remember in the uh, um, early 90s, no, late 90s, uh, voice engines in uh, Word uh, ask you to train. Uh, you have to speak 20 sentences or 20 minutes and, and six sentences. You have to train it. These days, none of the voice service requires training by the consumers because it's all done in the cloud already. And more consumers use it. This is the beauty of cloud service because the more consumers use it, then the better the engine learns. Right? So it's learning everybody's voice, everybody's requests, just like Google search engine. It searches better and better because it's actually looking at your search queries. And then you'll click. It's not a static thing. It evolves. It's learning all the time. So one of our, I mentioned one of our strengths, one of our advantages is uh, regional accents in Mandarin. We were the first team in the world to, to work on that. And here's an accent map, what you call a language map in China. Can you see it? The color is not very good. Um, basically, you know, um, in China we have around 11 different languages. Some people call it dialects. They are actually really languages because they are mutually comprehensible. So most of Chinese are Mandarin speakers. It's, uh, you know, we're fluent Mandarin speakers. We learned it when we were little. But all of us speak it with some kind of regional accent. You know, I'm, sh I'm from Shanghai, so I have a Shanghainese accent. And I've been in Hong Kong for a long time. Um, there are people who um, speak it with, um, even people in Beijing that have an accent. They have a Beijing accent. So very few people speak with a standard, you know, CCTV Mandarin accent. Nobody talks like that. So that's the one key challenge of Chinese speech recognition. That's why all these American companies don't do Chinese first, which is that there's a lot more accent variation among native speakers of Mandarin. Right? We're all native speakers, but we all have an accent. Right? Um, there's a lot more accent variations um, uh, among native speakers of Mandarin than there is among native speakers of English. Right? So that was one of the key challenges for Chinese speech recognition um, that we saw and we've been working on and we have very good results. So what is this? This is basically uh, what I call acoustic models. In the middle is the standard Mandarin acoustic model. This is a Shanghainese accent. That's a uh, Cantonese accent. Maybe there are multiple accents. All right, we share them together. All right, we have invented a way to probabilistically share the accent models so that our results uh, outperform all previous uh, models. So um, these are previous models. So our, our results, uh, our system outperforms all previous models on accented Mandarin and on standard Mandarin even. The next thing is noise reduction. Uh, so you hear for car, there will be car noise. The ship is torn apart. So you hear motor noise, road noise in the speech. The ship was torn apart on the sharp reef. Jazz and swing fans like fast music. So there's row noise, motor noise. And then we invented a method to get rid of this noise, basically. The ship was torn apart on the sharp reef. This is after Jazz and noise swing reduction. Fans like fast music. The ship was torn apart on the sharp reef. And this is yeah, done on, on the cloud side. Fast. On the device side, there's very little we can do because the microphone is uh, very limited. There's one microphone and the device is very small. So there's still a little bit of noise, but it's being greatly reduced. And uh, so, so we, you basically can have up to a uh, 20 dB signal to noise ratio improvement after our um, system. So another technology we um, deploy is a driver localization. So the speech system knows whom to listen to. So when a driver is driving, talking to the system, he needs to know who is talking because the passenger is talking, the kids yelling, and it, it will only actually only listen to the driver. All right. So there's a driver localization technology. Another thing is one of our latest research topics that I actually personally love very much. 
we do emotion recognition. All right, so here, what are these? Here we are looking at, you know, in different languages, Mandarin, English, and male, female. We're separating, okay, um, from what they say, okay, from their voice, we can tell whether they're stressed or not stressed. All right, so we're not recognizing what you're saying, but we're recognizing your emotional state. So, um, so we can hear whether you're stressed or not stressed, whether you're tired or not tired when you're driving, whether you're drunk or not. And we'll say, oh, hey, you're, you sound a little bit drunk. Maybe you should pull over and take a nap. So the car will be, you know, it will be a lot safer driving experience for the driver. All right. And uh, we also recognize emotion from songs, as I previously uh, mentioned. Right. So these are the points of our, uh, oh, one of our key uh, technologies are called mixed language name and title recognition. For example, you can say things like, uh, I, uh, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson the girl, because Chinese, we, we Chinese speak with a lot of mixed language mixing, especially, you know, when you're talking about songs and all that. Hong Kong restaurant names, right? That's not even Chinese speech recognition. Do you know how many Hong Kong restaurants are not in, doesn't have a Chinese name? About 5,000 of them don't have a Chinese name. It's not even English. You know, you go to Langkawi Farm, there are all kinds of restaurant names. They're not in English. So we have to handle that. It's called mixed language recognition. And in China, fortunately, all businesses are required to have Chinese names. So you, you, you know, sometimes people still say, um, well, very few people do that, actually. In China, they say Simbaka rather than Starbucks. In Hong Kong, if you say Shimaka, like, what is Shimaka? Starbucks. So, uh, another technology we've been working on very successfully is called automatic summarization. So as I mentioned, I can summarize, we can summarize blogs, user opinions. We can summarize the meeting. You know, we've been, uh, we, we're, you know, Hong Kong Legislative Council have all these meeting recordings. What do they do with them? Do you know what they do with them? You can download them, listen to them. Sometimes the meeting is three hours long, sometimes 10 hours long. Well, if you have time, you listen to them, right? Uh, so what we do is <laughs> we uh, take the recording, we transcribe them automatically with the speech recognition, and then we summarize them for easy browsing. We summarize them in the form of a meeting minute. So item one, what is the topic and subtopic? So you can click into it. I didn't bring that system to show today, but we have that at UST, um, so that people can choose, or they can also look for a particular legislative uh, legislate, legislator's name and say, what did he say about this in the last 10 years, the last five years? Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> did he change his mind? <laughs> okay, so this can all done by machines, hard to do, you know, by humans. All right, recommendation I mentioned. Uh, is to recommend a song to you according to what songs you like and according to what other users like you like and also according to the song content itself. So you like a particular kind of song with its tempo, with its beat and all that and we can find songs that are similar to that. Right? There is such a service in the US called Pandora. Right? But Pandora is completely, oh, I shouldn't say completely, every song in Pandora is annotated by hand by expert musicians and they need 80,000 musicians to do that, right? We don't use musicians, we use signal processing technology and we learn from musicians. Let's say we have few musicians do this and then we learn from them, all right? So language technology and speech technology. Our team, uh, I mentioned already, we have over 20 postdocs, full-time RAs, PhDs, and those exchange students. We also have a lab in Shenzhen, IEA. So HKUST has a Shenzhen uh, IER lab, and we're also there because we work with uh, Chinese companies. We have publications and patents, and we also have a company that's um, at the Entrepreneurship Center at HKUST, and with the uh, Shenzhen Wolfie, where we work with the Chinese companies to commercialize the stuff. So, um, speech and language service help you find your voice, what you like and what you can do. Down number, you can look for uh, fight, you look for weather, so you can say something like, or, or buy something. So, 
Can you hear me? So for example, I want to buy something. I can say, Piyu uh, Yongping. And tells you tells me where the stores are. Okay, this kind of stores, you know, these are are your stores there? I hope so. And then you go in there and then you know gives you the information and you can send it to your friend and say, let's meet there. Okay? Or uh, a restaurant. Any restaurant you wanna go so that it's not just me. Restaurant can also Lots of them. Or you can say something that's uh, Anthony's Ranch. So here is uh, this is what I mean by, you know, there are a lot of restaurants in Hong Kong that this is one of my favorite neighborhood restaurants in Saigon. It's an American restaurant. doesn't have a Chinese name. Uh, Chinese restaurant. Um, Chinese restaurant. Ah. Nanbei Xiao Tu. That's a UST. Okay, it's not one, you know, they can they have more branches. There's a few branches, so, yeah. All right. And then you can book hotels. Uh, I don't know why the default is Shangri-La, but you know, weather, you can book flights, all that. So this is uh, voice, okay? It has a different interface from Siri, because <coughs> I think this is prettier, but maybe they would disagree. And another system I want to show is this car device. This is a car system. This is actually a device you put in a car, all right? and we have something that can use the <laughs> So it has three different functions for Chinese companies, right? It's called navigation. Um, so it's called song download, voice dialing, and navigation. Three very simple applications that people use a lot in the car. So this is a, uh, a navigation, and you can ask for, you know, again, like the previous ad, you just say where you want to go, and then we'll start navigating you. And uh, this is one of the ads that I like. So this is basically you listen to Okay, so this is a system that uses 3G connection, GPS, location service, and this is a prototype that can already go in a car and any company that's working on car accessories, this is the future. So I hope you'll work with us. We're already working with Chinese companies to commercialize this stuff. Um, so thank you very much.